So for the, w the people in the room, uh, just a short reminder that uh, the Swiss Marketplace Group is uh, the result of the merger of uh, TX Markets and Scout24 Switzerland. So we are the lucky owners of uh, a portfolio of brands that 90% of the Swiss are actually using in the marketplace and classified world, like Ricardo, Autoscout24, HomeGate, and uh, 13 other brands. And the purpose of the conference is sustainability. So the question is, how do you relate a group like these uh, marketplaces and classified with sustainability? Well, first of all, as a digital company, we have a very limited uh, footprint, but we are working on it, of course, like any other company. And, um, but we can do a lot more than this. Um, we are in the use good uh, sector, and uh, by being active in this area, we actually can contribute a lot. And we can do a lot more than we are doing uh, today, and that's what we are going to discuss with, uh, with Stefan uh, now. So, so Shil, I, I think SMG is a very great example. You have, your company has a small footprint because it's a small company, but you provide services. Uh, through your, your platform that are hugely generating impact on, on, uh, on, on, on the carbon footprint of, 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 of the society, but also of other companies. And, and this, is, this is great. So it's not a matter of size to really make a difference, but it's, it's just uh, kind of bringing different, uh, different players together. And there are uh, other examples actually in the market like to kind of digitalize the value chain of, of, of some industries. There is an example like digital drink which is kind of connecting all the players with digital technologies to kind of reduce uh, transports, to reduce uh, activities that are generating uh, or have an impact on the, on, on the digital footprint. Uh, digital Switzerland, uh, our aim is actually to help make, uh, uh, Switzerland make, make Switzerland becoming a digital nation, a leading digital nation, which we are not today. Uh, and sustainability for us is a huge topic. We ourselves have a project that we call Wiser, which is basically building a system that uh, gives the possibility to measure greenhouse gas data beyond uh, company borders. So it is not only what a company has in under control, but it's really beyond that, which is up upstream, da upstream and downstream, to really have uh, have a view on the total footprint that is generated. And this is uh, basically also kind of a platform that we that we build. And that's a great example. And um, you know, in our marketplaces, we have a lot of people, young people, who are working in our companies. And you can feel that they need a purpose that is uh, very strong when it comes to sustainability. We did a hackathon recently, um, where we ask our product and tech people to actually come up with new ideas and innovative ideas for our platforms. And many of these ideas were in the sustainability space. Uh, one or two examples. The first one was on our real estate um, platforms. Um, we are now working on uh, two initiatives that, is, uh, that are going to give a lot more information to the people searching for an apartment or a house when it comes to where to charge your car, your electric car, is there a charger in your home, or is there a charger around your home that is going to uh, influence the way you are actually going to select your next apartment to buy or to rent. And another example is we are working on uh, gathering the data to provide for every building in Switzerland the information about the energy levels that are necessary uh, to, uh, for heating or for lightning, and do you need also renovation for the future apartment you are buying or uh, renting? And this is something that is really concrete that we will uh, bring live in the coming weeks. And of course, it's not only sustainability, the energy crisis is also putting us in front of new questions, and it is very uh, important for every uh, uh, Swiss uh, when it comes to select their next house. Um, uh, where and how much they are going uh, to find their, um, their energy. Uh, another example is electric vehicles. Of course, on a platform like Autoscout24, we have the possibility to push uh, the sustainability topic, so we are creating an electric vehicles hub where the people searching for a new car will have a lot more information in about the next car. This is a jungle. It's very difficult to make a difference between a pure electric car and all the uh, hybrid solutions that are around, and we are bringing uh, 
this information in front of the eyes of the customers with such criteria that will help them make the right uh, choice. But also, we will use uh, these new features to actually uh, help accelerate the switch of electric cars uh, in Switzerland. So I, I recently talked to the CEO of ABB here in Switzerland and asked her, what, what, about, what about your uh, activities around, around sustainability? And, and, and she said, of course, we as a company are focusing on, on sustainability as what we can do, what we control, can control with our facilities and, and all that. Uh, but also, and this is now when energy is becoming more and more of, of an issue these days, also to have products that actually are are supporting the goal of, uh, of, of uh, lowering greenhouse gas emissions. And, and this is even probably the, the multiplicator of it by having all the products that are going out to the market uh, in, in various areas, spe specifically in the case of ABB uh, uh, around energy, that they help to reduce the footprint. And this is something that is completely beyond the company. But sustainability is, is, is actually has two different, uh, two different um, aspects. One is internal activities, and also including the whole value chain, but also the products and the services that uh, are served by, by a company like that. There is another very important aspect when it comes to be an attractive employer. So more and more, the young generation, the generation Z, is attracted by companies who are not only talking about it, but they really do it. And more and more, this will be a major um, factor of being an attractive employer of choice uh, going forward as well. Yeah, and we feel that very much. Um, a lot of initiatives in the company are starting from, from the ground. Um, and to give you another example, on Ricardo, which is our used uh, good marketplace, probably the most uh, known in Switzerland, um, we have uh, recently, it started two, two days ago, but it's getting bigger. We have started a second hand day. And let's be honest, it's kind of a balance to this Black Friday e-commerce, um, not necessarily super sustainable approach of uh, consumption. And we have combined it with um, my climate to give the possibility for everybody buying used goods on Ricardo to evaluate how much CO2 they are saving by buying actually uh, shoes that are actually already uh, were already used uh, or a new sofa or whatever it is you can buy on our platforms and uh, the success has been amazing and in Switzerland the Black Friday volumes have been decreasing the last two years uh, while actually the consumption of used goods have been increasing in the opposite direction the last two years as well so and this is pushed as you say Stefan by a generation that doesn't want just to do business or have a great job, but they want to have a purpose, and that's the one we can give. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's very compelling, because a product which is given a second life, I think it's better than to just throw it away and buy a, buy a new one. And, and I think here you are, you are of course, a, a leader in, in, in actually pushing this kind of change of thinking uh, in the way. When it comes to platforms, very often we hear the fact that these are, that they use energy like hell. Not only, I mean, we know that for the crypto, for the crypto uh, currencies, but also for the platforms, uh, they use a lot, uh, they use a lot of, a lot of energies. And here, um, we as Digital Switzerland are also engaged with uh, one of our, one of our members. It's called the Swiss Data Center Efficiency Association, where a lot of activities are happening to make the whole data centers more efficient, uh, to use energy, to use consumptions, and not only single single companies but to kind of have an association and this is kind of a platform as well to really exchange lessons learned and ideas how how this uh, this issue can be addressed because uh, i think energy efficiency is very very important going going forward not only because of uh, uh, lacking of energy or potential lacking of energy but also just to kind of uh, yeah have uh, a, a good impact on the on the on the, the, digital, on the footprint as well yeah Absolutely. Um, we are looking at it as well. We have ways to measure, actually, the impact of our data centers. Uh, there are ways to optimize website, actually, as well, to reduce the consumption. And uh, yes, a lot to do uh, on sustainability for, for us as well, even if we are uh, not directly impacting the entire world, we can impact the consumption in Switzerland. So what I like most, you are a member of Digital Switzerland, which is, which is great, and also you are a key player when it comes to really 
using platforms, having yourself a small footprint, but really kind of do a lot for the society and for, for, the, for the economy when it comes to sustainability. And this is... That's our goal, definitely. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you. Mm.